What are we gonna go do right soon? Pick that up! <gasps> are you excited? <laughs> Hi, I'm Janine from The Mennonite Mom, and this year my husband and I decided that it was time for our old farmhouse to get a facelift. The journey was challenging, yet fun, and I enjoyed documenting the process. A few videos back, we had said goodbye to Nolan so he could go west and help out his family for two weeks, and my son Xander and I stayed back home to try and manage the house renos. During this time, I had a few surprises up my sleeve for when Nolan would return, and we worked hard to get more finished on the house than he was expecting. If you haven't seen those videos, make sure to go back and check them out so you're all caught up to speed. After two long weeks, Nolan was finally coming home and I couldn't wait to see what he thought of the progress on our home. Ha, ah, I just woke up from like a two hour nap. It felt amazing and I feel so much better. So I am just going to relax the rest of the night. I'm not going to worry about all the things I didn't get done because really it just doesn't matter. And if the rest of the house isn't clean, if it's still pretty dirty over there, who cares? At least I have the majority of the stuff done, but I'm really, really excited. Let me show you what the guys got done. They're all gone, so let me go out and show you. Oh, our house! Have I even showed it much to y'all lately? It's getting there, it's pretty much finished. But anyway, I'm super thrilled with what they got done on the front porch. Light, a light there, a light over here. And two lights down there. Today, I'm going to get Nolan here. It's gonna be night. He flies in at like 10.30, so we won't be back until like probably midnight. And I was trying to figure out how to sh not show him all this when we're pulling in with the, with the car, but I suddenly thought, you know what? I'll turn all these lights on, and when we drive in, I'll tell him to shut his eyes, and then I'll walk him over here. And it should light everything up enough that he can see this rock work that I got done. Remember, I got that finished. We got the new cement on here. Here's a little clip of what it looked like when he left. And now this is kind of what it looks like now. I had also really hoped that I could have the porch pillars done. I had asked them, but they said they were too busy, so. I was wishing, but it didn't happen. Ugh. Anyway, so practically, the thing that still needs to be done out here is they're gonna put beautiful like wood pillars and a wood beam across the top, and then they're putting in a new roof, and that's gonna have to get painted as well. So, anywho, my painter, I really like him as a person and everything, and he does a really good job on the house, but he's not so careful with his paint splatters. I'm telling you, I worked so hard on this patio to get some of this stuff off, and I kept telling him, cover up, please cover up, and there was times he just wouldn't. And it can be really hard, because this is so windy here, and any little mistake, but it's like kind of a known thing for painters, like you just cover up. So like, look at this, like, seriously? Seriously? Anyway, so it's going to be a job. It's an oil-based paint, so to me it's kind of a nightmare. But I truly believe it's part of his responsibility to do this on his time because he should have taken care of this. This was a ex pretty expensive uh, front porch sidewalk to put in, and if it gets ruined, I mean, I know it's all about temporal earthly things, but I can have something a little bit nice, surely, for the time I live here. <laughs> Anyway, I'm trying not to make too big of a deal out of it, but it does really annoy me a little bit. Because all you need to do is plastic off and make sure it's, it's done well. And then, anyway, but he did do that around, once my see around the front here, um, there's rock along the front of the house. He did that when they were up painting the house. So, I was happy with that. I got the whole place cleaned up from trash, pretty much. I see there's some wood out there. I forgot to mention the other day they were here doing the roof. They don't have that completely finished either, just putting the splits on. We got things fairly nicely mowed around here. There's a stray ball, chairs and toys that should be cleaned up, but for the most part, it looks so nice. For weeks there's just been a bunch of trash and junk out here. I got the front porch all cleaned off and everything blown off and I hung up the swing 
Worked at it for a little while, tried to adjust it twice, got down, realized it's still crooked, knocked my knuckles enough against the top and decided that's enough. It's fine, it's gonna get taken down again anyway, so. Ah yes, I need to show you quickly the insides of the house yet. Anyway, but here is the light they put in. Ah! Isn't this light so cool? Oh, also, I put this on today. Ta-da! I decided to put one of these in so that my parents and whoever can come and just give them the passcode. This is the kitchen. They got all the drywall hung and I'm super excited. Monday, a guy comes to mud and uh, then we can get to painting and getting that prepped and then they still need to lay in a floor here. But let me just show you quickly, how did Nolan leave this? Remember, he just knocked everything down. Every town has its ups and downs. Now he's coming home to this. If I could change one thing about this beam, it would be so that it would be a little bit shorter because it's pretty long into each side of the wall, but it'll be fine. It's fine. This is just amazing. No one's gonna be so thrilled. All right, and then Xander's room. This is what Nolan left it like, kind of like this. And this is what he's coming back to. All he has to do is to finish hanging the closet door. And then this is the living room. I was debating lighting the windows without curtains, but I think a little bit of curtain will definitely add a touch. Let me see if I can find a video of kind of what the living room looked like when he left. And this is what it looks like now that he's coming home. Let me quickly interject that I didn't get a whole lot more done to the living room besides the new carpet, new paint, and the beautiful map on the wall that I had shared in previous videos. But the rest of the decor was done after Nolan's return, so I decided to wait and show you the whole process in next week's video. So Xander's room was so easy for me to put together, like everything just came together. But this room I'm struggling just a little bit. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to see how everything pulls together. I'm obviously pretty far from done yet, or I feel I'm pretty far from finished. Anyway, but hopefully it'll pull together and uh, yeah. The other surprise for Nolan, I kind of touched up our bedroom. Before, you know, someone came and painted up the windows that had all the caulking, um, some of the stuff that Nolan had remodeled back when we did uh, Xander's nursery. It got some new fresh paint, got a new bedspread. Where's Buddy? What are you doing? I'm trying to get out. I'm trying to carry it. That's a little heavy, don't you think? <laughs> there, that's a good plan. Hey, look, you know you don't Hey! Here. You know you need it. Okay, pull the box. Whoa. Sick and carry it. All right. Is this one too? Okay, we need to open up the zipper the full way. <gasps> Buddy. I know you're overzealous, but just calm down a little bit. Okay, okay. Thank you. There's some more coming. Can you pull? There we go. <laughs> okay, hop up. Let's see it. Ooh! Whoa! Almost hit the fan. This room, I really like it still. Might be a little outdated, but I love the orange, the creams, and the dark brown. I kind of like a darker bedroom. I really like when it's dark and kind of feels, um, yeah, like a place that should, you should be sleeping. That's why I have all the blinds on and down. It kind of makes it darker up here. Anyway, we'll quick make the bed. And of course, everything is house cleaned, thanks to those lovely girls that came and helped me out. The upstairs is sparkling clean, 
the living room sparkling clean and yeah as soon as we can move out of this mess and get into the kitchen my house is gonna feel just incredible I'll never let it get dirty again ha 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 let me just show you how I'm living a little bit the dust in this room is absolutely awful. It doesn't help that we're right next to the kitchen where all the work happens. I'm always trying to grab cameras and film and whatnot, so this is kind of my battery charging station. I was flying the drone and I was too lazy to put it back in. I'm always living on coffee. Do I dare show you the inside? <laughs> No one has this gripe with me that I don't finish my coffee. Like, I'll just sip at it. Like, I enjoy my coffee. It's not like I gulp it down in three minutes. And sometimes I don't even finish it. Most times it's like this much left. And since there's cream in it, it tends to turn kind of gross. And you'll find, like, coffee cups sitting around with this nasty coffee mixture. And since I don't have a sink to throw things in, I have this habit of, like, sitting my coffee somewhere and forgetting about it. So I won't say how many coffee cups are <laughs> sitting around here with this awful looking sludge in them and he's gonna come home to this and I have like hardly any clean dishes and I was I should have groceries and I hardly have any food in the fridge huh yeah oh that's nasty pretty much these entire two weeks I have been going what I feel like is non-stop and that's not good for me or my son so now we have a few hours until we have to go pick up Nolan I'm just going to sit down and enjoy a cup of coffee and maybe catch up on YouTube comments because I'm way behind and I apologize. Anyway, I appreciate you all being here. I can't wait to see my husband. I miss him so much. One thing I wanted to clarify real quick, I don't know what Nolan's going to say. I never want this YouTube channel to become something that we perform for. You know, I don't want, I'm not doing this whole surprise thing for a YouTube video. Well, it makes for a good story and something to film. I want to make sure uh, Nolan's okay with it. So I'm going to ask him if he wants to come see the house and everything we did and just skip me bringing the camera along or if he minds if I kind of film it. When I film these types of things, I try to just kind of hold the camera and be in the moment myself and hope I'm kind of getting the shot just because it means a lot to me to be present. I'm not trying to get all the best angles, but I want him to enjoy it. And I know that sometimes we're all this way, you know, if you know that someone is watching your reaction, you might tend to think about how you're reacting. So like in other words, if I'm trying to surprise him and maybe it's not as big of a surprise as he thought or he's thinking to himself, I'm wondering if I'm acting surprised enough and all that, you know how we are as humans. Anyway, I don't want him to feel that way. I want him to be coming home, happy to see us and not having to worry about trying to perform for a video which he doesn't normally perform but you know it's kind of in your mind anyway I'm just rambling I have a feeling he'll be fine with me recording but just in case he's not this video may end without you actually seeing him be surprised and then I'll just tell you guys how he reacted I'm sorry if it ends up being this way I don't want this YouTube channel to ever turn into some kind of basically where you infringe on other people to try to get views or to try to get publicity or just to try to make a story better or whatever. Right now I have got to go and get ready. What are we gonna go do right soon? Pick that up! Oh, are you excited? Yeah. We're so excited! So the crazy thing is about Xander, I didn't know he could do this. He can count backwards. I told him on Monday it was five more nights till dad comes home. And ever after that, every morning he would come down pretty much, not quite every morning, but there towards the end every morning. And every day he would say how many more nights he had to sleep. He would say four more times, three more times, and three more times. And he was pretty much always right. <laughs> and this morning he woke up and he said, today we get daddy. Yeah. <laughs> say we missed dad so much, <laughs> didn't we? Mom. What? Is dad up there? We know Way up there. Is dad up in that airplane? Yeah. <laughs> you think daddy's way up there in that airplane? Yeah. Here, should I show you where daddy was in Oregon? Yeah. Come, let's go look. This is where we live, that's Pennsylvania. And over there's Oregon. And daddy was here and he's flying home. He's gonna go to Chicago. And then he's gonna fly over to Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wish you'd be in a jet? Mom. To this island. Really? To that island? Look. Say your, 
you just had a bath. Your hair's all wet and slicked up. Yep. Okay. The Bible tells me so. Really? Do you like by Jesus loves me? It's a bit spider and up the water spell. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried all. to the springtime I'll come back to you Just like the colors to the daylight I'll come back to you Even though I may wonder I know I'll come wandering back to you You're my Go to the airport. He said he just landed. We might miss him. I'll come back to you. Did he put rock over, like under the, is that why that's taped off? There's yeah, there's room. rock over there nice. too. If you want to come out, my buddies. Incredible. I'll show you how they did it. That's a nice place. Yeah. Oh. 
Did you wake up, buddy? You're barefoot. We need to go in. Look at that. Are you chilly, chilly? Should we show Dad the kitchen? No, Dad. No, don't show me the. I'll show you the upstairs. The upstairs. The kitchen. Wow. Look at that beam. That is nice. Dad. Yeah. Turns those lights on too. That is cool. A little chilly. A little different oh. than when you left it, isn't it? It is. I, really like I half wish it was a little bit shorter. Do you like it that far Wait, into it the wall? Out. Um, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool, buddy. Shall we show Dad more surprises? Is yep. there more surprises? I'll, I'll show you the upstairs. <laughs> upstairs? Oh. Wow. Let's go show him the living room. Look at this. Hey, Dad. <laughs> Dad. You have been busy. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Dad. What, buddy? Hey, and Mom got a little basket for me, Magnet. See, that's nice. This is an accent wall, right? Yeah. I want to put, I'm planning to put more stuff up. I just stuff didn't come in time. I was running out of time. So. Yeah, buddy. Even we got, even we got some plants. Okay. Do you look at them? Look. That's really cool. Look at that. Yeah. Those are nice plants. Is that a real plant? Mom. What do you think of the map? Do you like it? I am a fan. Mom. Really, really am. Mom. This is a nice room. Is he actually going to sleep in it tonight? No. I didn't. He really has been begging to, so I should transition him. Hey, yes. Dad. Yeah. Hey, Daddy. Do you know what I got for? Wow, you got your own little chair up here. Like, he sits up here and looks at books. And hey, what's that what? What? <laughs> that, that is so cool. And then he could give me books out of here. Wow, you guys have been working hard. Mm-hmm. Isn't that red light pretty cool there? It hides up that. I just really that love it. I think cool. it I think it really makes that chimney look just, awesome. Even when you uh it's battery powered, it's always going. Yeah, you can turn it off on the side there. Okay. I just had it on because I you were coming. That is neat. Hey Dad! Yeah, buddy. You should work in this room. You should put some drawers right some here. Doors, yeah, you know there's gotta be doors, huh? Oh. Hey Dad! Been working hey, Dad. So how did you do all this? Well, there's a lot of physical work moving stuff around. How did you? Well, the boys came. Xander put it up again, turned the light on. They yeah. came and helped. <laughs> oh, I need to fix that bed yet with a rubber sheet that just came today for underneath because. Okay, one more yeah, little thing want. to show you. Sure. See? Now look at Mom's bed! Oh, that! You like it? I do. I was gonna say we should our other find one is, room in the budget for some new. Uh, our yeah. other one was awful. Notice anything else in the room? Uh, oh, this is painted. Hmm. Wow. That and all the trim got repainted around windows and all the floor trim that was all beat up. Okay. Yeah. Something outside you so want to show me? My goal was to make it homey for you. Is it homey? It is very homey. Uh, I, uh, bring in the airplane. For him. Oh, yeah. I'll bring your surprise in, okay? It's going to get, it's going to get surprised. Did you get a surprise from Dad? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
my. Look at that. Is it for me? That's for mom. Wow, babe.